think she's got a glass eye? I heard she got it from gypsies. What's a gypsy? Your mama's a gypsy. Your mama's a bitch. You shouldn't swear there's ladies present. Shit. Damn. Screw. Turn off your flashlights. She'll see you. Yet of all the witches in Alabama, there was one who was said to be the most feared. For she had one glass eye which was said to contain mystical powers. I heard if you look right at it, you'll see how you're gonna die. That's boy S-H-I-T, that is. She's not even a real witch. You're so sure. Why don't you go on and get that eye? I heard she keeps it in a box on the night table. Uh, are you too scared? I'll go in right now and get that eye. Then do it. Fine, I will. Fine, you do it. Fine, I'm doing it. Edward, don't. She'll make soap out of you. That's what she does. She makes soap out of people. My name's Ever Blue, and there's some folks I can see your eye. You get the eye? I brought it. Let's see it. I saw how I was gonna die. I was old and I fell. I wasn't old at all. I was thinking about death and all, about seeing how you're gonna die. I mean, on one hand, if that was all you thought about, it could kinda screw you up. But it kinda help you, couldn't it? Because everything else, you know you could survive. I guess I'm saying I'd like to know. Huh, that's how I go. There were two roads out of Ashton, a new one which was paved and an older one that wasn't. People didn't use the old one anymore and it had developed a reputation for being haunted. Well, since I had no intention of ever returning to Ashton, this seemed as good a time as any to find out what lay down that old road. You know anyone who's taken it? That poet Nor the Winslow did. He was going to Paris, France. I guess he liked it, no one ever heard from him again. I'll tell you what, you go the other way, I'll cut through here and I'll meet you on the far side. You're just trying to run away, aren't you? Here. Just to be sure, you can take my pack. Why, 
you son of a... Now there comes a point when a reasonable man will swallow his pride and admit that he's made a terrible mistake. The truth is, I was never a reasonable man. And what I recall of Sunday school was that the more difficult something became, the more rewarding it was in the end. What's your name? Edward Bloom. Hmm. Bloom like a flower? Yes. Oh, here. Here you are, right here. Edward Bloom. Hmm. We weren't expecting you yet. You were expecting me? Not yet. You must have taken a shortcut. Why, well, yeah, yes, I did. It, it almost killed me. Mm, life will do that to you. And truthfully, the long way is easier. But it's longer. Much longer. And you're here now, and that's what matters. Well, what is this place? The town of Spectre. Best kept secret in Alabama. That says here yeah, you're from uh, Ashton, right? Yeah, last person we had from Ashton was Nalda Winslow. The poet? Whatever happened to him? He's still here. Let me buy you a drink. I'll tell you all about it. Hell, I'll have him tell you. Uh, I have to meet somebody, and I'm already running late. Now, son, I already told you. You're early. Now tell me if that isn't the best pie you ever ate. It truly is. <laughs> well, everything tastes better here. Even the water is sweet. Never gets too hot, too cold, too humid. And at night, the wind goes through the trees where well, you'd swear there was a whole symphony out there playing just for you. Jenny, come back here. There is no softer ground than town. That almost rhymes. He's our poet laureate. Come on. I agreed to spend the afternoon, if only to understand the mystery of how a place could feel so strange and yet so familiar. 